I'm not very fond of the new HD uh, music. Uh, music. Why? Well, I, I'm not. No, I think I have to rephrase. I'm not not fond. I don't think we've got enough music on the format uh, to 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 say we love it or don't love it. The most important is that I think that 75% of the music that's available on HD formats is tricked anyway. It's uh, upsampled from 44.1. I have, you know, so that's already one big problem. How do you know that? How did you Well, you can actually, uh, it's been already exposed by a couple of journalists throughout the world, as you know, but most important, it's easy you to pick up a track, you put it through a sound sampler, and you see that you don't get resolution over 22.1, 22.1 being the half of 44. So you know you basically know that at that point you're listening to an upsampled file from 44.1. So anyway, you know you basically know that at that point you're listening to an upsampled file from 44.1. So anyway, I would say that. The majority of it is upsampled music from 44.1, so there is no gain at all to listen to it from a hard drive or a spinning drive or whatever. Second, uh, the second point is that I think that 90 percent, or maybe not 80 percent, of that total music available is not very interesting for music lovers. You know, you can get a little Swedish ensemble maybe in a, a Gothenburg ch uh, a church or a little saxophone player in a bar in Madrid, but you know, it's not really what we're here for. We, we, we can't access the big, big catalog of real the, music. The real music of the great composers, the great performers, etc. Et so, and as I said to you uh, early on when we were discussing, I have never been able to introduce a good music server in a very good high-end audio system, such that uh, 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 we always seem to bet, get better results with well-calibrated, uh, um, shall we say, uh, accepted formats. What I'm saying is, don't condemn him, don't kill it, but certainly don't consider it today in 2011 and 2012 as the format that's going to replace those omens. Because not only that, audio geeks and techies are going to probably carry on going down that route. But we have to remember that the major population of our listeners, of listeners of good audio, are not interested in all this techie stuff and if they don't have contents available to them where they can play back music at home they might just get bored and you know and say well is that hi-fi in 2011 where it's not what audio high high fidelity is not about it about collecting your favorite artists is about cherishing your collection it's about enjoying music with friends from a specific artists. So this is it. I mean, that's basically uh, the point I was trying to make. Thank you.